You're watching Your World at 10. Now, the controversy surrounding independent directors, their responsibilities and hence their accountability and their liabilities refuses to go away. Earlier today, the Supreme Court rejected Nimesh Kampani's anticipatory bail plea in the Nagarjuna finance case. Remember, Kampani was independent director at Nagarjuna, but he resigned much before the company defaulted on its depositors. Yet, the Andhra Pradesh police has an arrest warrant against Kampani and two other independent directors, that's AP Kuren and Meenu Shroff. What implications does this Nagarjuna case have on independent directors in the country, their responsibilities and their liabilities? That's the big topic tonight to discuss that I first have with me Harish Salve, Senior Supreme Court Advocate and Counsel for two of Mr. Kampani's co-accused, that's Meenu Shroff and AP Kurian. Um, let me ask you straight up, Mr. Salve, what do you think this case says about the liabilities facing independent directors in this country and how limited they are or not? Uh, you know, this is uh, a, one of the problems uh, which has been uh, dogging our uh, criminal justice system and it is now coming to haunt India Inc. who thought uh, they were not concerned with this problem. The Indian criminal justice system is in a mess. I said this over and over again. And today, we, as you rightly said, we don't prove anything. Our system is of trial by embarrassment. So our police writes up cases, arrests people, front page news, so and so arrested, and that's the end of the story. And that is what Indian criminal justice system is today reduced to. And this has haunted uh, the non-corporate world. It is now haunting the corporate world. Let's take this very case. The police has written up a case. They have said, yes, we know that uh, these gentlemen had all, all of them had uh, left the company and left much before. And on the date they left, there were no outstanding deposits. But the police has also said, one of the depositors said he went for one of the board meetings. And he saw these gentlemen who were ex-directors sitting there and they all promised him, oh, don't worry, we'll pay you off. And on that basis, they said, now this calls for investigation, so please come and surrender. This kind of trial by embarrassment by the Indian police has been going on for a long time. And it is now extending to the corporate world. So this is really is not a case about the liability of independent directors. I do not agree with you that bouncing checks is a triviality. It's a serious matter. But again, how far are independent directors liable? Again, is a problem of the criminal justice system. You just have to name a host of people and say they are responsible. And then you have to go and face trial. And facing trial in India is a big problem. Trouble is we have no accountability for wrong cases. If you wrongly arrayed somebody and that person is let off, Nobody has to answer any question. That's, that's the problem. And this has been dogging our system. It's only that it is now coming spilling over into the corporate world. Well, there's no quick fix for that malaise that you pointed out in the criminal justice system. But do you think that alongside fixing the criminal justice system, we also need to carve out a better set of rules, roles, responsibilities, and hence accountability and liabilities uh, for independent directors so that at least, you know, I mean, those boards or those independent directors that are accused of negligence can't go scot-free simply because we can't pinpoint what negligence is as their responsibilities are not written out. And yet independent directors are not troubled or arrested for things like company checks bouncing or late provident fund payments, issues or day-to-day -day affairs that they are not connected to. See, I'll tell you, there is no quick fix for this because in India, unfortunately, criminal proceedings are used as thumb screws. You can have the finest law which says an independent director is not responsible. In a criminal complaint, an allegation only has to be made that yes, he is in law not responsible, but he had privately met me and assured me that this check will be encashed. There you are. He is named. Go face trial. And police will arrest you and go and ask for bail. Mr. Savi, what about comprehensive indemnity for independent directors? Or oh, is that going to the other extreme then? Absolutely. See, these quick fixes don't work. You will have to then go the other way and say that whatever he does, he is not liable. <laughs> that gives you a, a license for uh, misbehavior. No? Even that, that's going the other way too far. There are no quick fixes in this. We must have a system which works. And I've always said this, and I'm sorry corporate India doesn't respond. Corporate India will be the biggest loser if the rule of law comes to the sorry pass in which it has come today to in our country. 
All right, Mr. Salve, thanks very much for joining us. So the criminal justice system definitely needs some fixing for this arrest-happy situation to go away. But what about the independent director system in this country? You know, no rules, no responsibilities. And since the responsibilities are not defined, we're not clearly very sure what the liabilities could be. And hence this twisted set of liabilities that seem to have come about. Well, do we need better rules? Joining me now is the executive director on board of m, &M Arun Nanda. He's also independent director on two other boards. Well, Mr. Nanda, thanks very much for joining me. Do we need a better set of rules for independent directors so that we can pinpoint their responsibility and hence pinpoint their liability, not open them up to all kinds of absurd liabilities? I personally feel that we need better implementation of rules. You know, there are, there are good companies, the well-governed companies, and there are companies which don't even have board meetings. Hmm. Um, I don't think the rules are going to change it. But rules that define independent directors' responsibilities better? I think the responsibilities are fairly defined under the various statutes. Okay. Uh, it's a question of, I think, A, you need to educate independent directors what they're supposed to do. Most people sometimes get carried away that I'm on the board and just the ego or the glory of sitting on the board. I mean, there is a, there is a responsibility. As we were talking before we went on the show, that people do look at who are the directors on the board. So they, there is they a lend a brand to the board, yeah. There is a responsibility of the director, but I think you have to first find whether the man is guilty or not guilty. And like, for example, under the Factories Act, hmm. uh, there's a concept which says that you have to define a person who's an occupier. So right. the board takes the thing and board takes every month when I sit on the board, we take a compliance certificate and we check that compliance certificate whether that fellow has complied and it's not we just you just don't rely on that you get you use things like internal audit for example to look at right. it if you have a doubt on these sorts of issues uh, Nimesh's issue is a fairly unfortunate issue I don't think you should take that because I personally f I'm surprised that somebody is going so far and Supreme Court must have its reasons and I I was not in the court but you know, a man who was not even involved in either collecting the deposit or payment of deposit is not involved in the management. He got away with it. I think this is being carried too far. So then last question to you, Mr. Nanda, is that if we don't need a better set of rules, we just need better implementation, let's say tightening of the... And, the uh, and, and education of independent directors, so that if what tomorrow... What about education of the public? Because the constant refrain I get to hear from independent directors is, listen, you guys expect too much from us, but at the end of the day, we only play some sort of a vague supervisory role. We can't be responsible for anything more than that. No. Do you think that we need to sort of uh, move our expectations from independent directors a few notches down? I'd I like to correct you. I think it's not vague supervisory role. The supervisory role has to be specific. Okay. It can't be a vague spe spe All supervisory right. role. Um, look, you can go and further clarify in clause 49 what is required. You can look into the act. You can go and say under various sections because there is a penalty for non-payment of deposits to a director because under section 274 1G, hmm. if a company on the board uh, you are has defaulted, then you are disqualified as a director. Hmm. You know, that itself and is you a, can't be director on any other board of a company. Any other board. Sure. Uh, I... You, 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 you know, we can go and start looking at uh, the various statutes and defining. That's not going to solve the problem. You are what will? If you had to quickly just itemize to me what you think are the quick solutions to this, you know, I mean, outside of educating investors a lot more, educating directors and playing their role better, is there anything else that you would like to see? I, I personally think as a part of uh, secretarial practice, you know, what a board meeting should look at, you know, what are the things... Good, well-managed companies look at compliance certificates and all that. I think pro probably a sort of a rules, you know, like you have model articles of association under the Companies Act, a model sort of guidelines as to what an independent director is to look at so that if tomorrow an issue comes up, then you can say that you ought to have seen this and you've not seen this because people sure. start okay. getting into that what I'm supposed to see, what I'm not supposed to see. And are see, you, there's a difference are independent directors, so we have 30 seconds more, are independent directors at this point in time truly worried that, you know, with what's happened with Nimesh Kampani, Meenushtraf, AP Kurian, that we need to rethink the boards we're sitting on? 
A lot of people are uh, worried about taking a uh, position independent director. Getting good independent directors is becoming a problem. But many good boards are actually reviewing the corporate governance practices and spending a lot of time as to what they should be doing in board meetings. One of the things which could help to answer your question is peer review of uh, independent directors. Well, wow, peer reviews for independent directors now. What are we coming to? Peer reviews for auditors, peer reviews for independent directors. Mr. Nanda, thanks very much for your time and thank you for joining us on Your World at 10.